Hello viewers, this is Rise. Welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 2. Well, as you can see, I uh, managed to get every single one of these uh, moves there for Tim. Um, the only one that you really need is first aid, and I'd say you want to get at least Red Butte and Sonic Claw. The other ones you don't need to worry so much about right now, but uh, you might as well go ahead and get them all. It really won't take that long. First aid is definitely the most important, though. And uh, make sure that you... I brought Tim into the party now. I'm finally going to use him. And I gave him the clear chime. Uh, we'll be running into confusion. He has a Duru because it'll increase his sorcery. Tim has... I mean, Ashley here has Fangalon because it'll... Uh... He can use the stealing ability. Shooter Dark is always on Loka, along with the Mystic Word. And Moonstone on Brad, because I will be using Brad eventually. And uh, make sure you give him the hard gear if you haven't already done so. And, uh, okay. Now let's, uh, ignore that beeping. It, it's just my timer. It goes off like every hour. It's really annoying and I don't know how to shut it off. But yeah, let's go over to the trial arena. Oh, and uh, now that you have Tim in your party... Feel free to uh, use all the sorcery apples you get on him. You get, you get from this point on on him. Not so much for his offensive potential. And use vitality apples on him as well. That'll give him more HP. Supposedly, I've never really noticed a difference, but I suppose it's there. But yeah, you definitely want to use um, at least sorcery apples on Tim. That'll help out his uh, first aid. The thing that makes Tim really nice is his first aid heals everybody. Not a lot of HP, but more than you'll ever need. Until you reach um, optional bosses, basically. As long as you set them up the way I have it set up. I guess Collect can't go any further with us. Alright. Yep, this is where we're going to test the pillar. <laughs> Way to boost morale there, Tim. Wall. Oh, so we can't go any further. Tim will have to go alone. Well, that's just great. By the way, um, Basker Village does have a, at least an item shop, and I think it has um, a guy that can refill your ammo, but I can't quite remember. I couldn't find him. I think you have to have... Um, use some ammo and then some guy will offer to restore it or whatever. I forget, I've never used it. Yeah, look, uh, guys should just always be upbeat, yeah. <laughs> if you're male and you have emotion, screw you! Way to make us feel loved, Loka. Way to go. You know what I just realized? There's not a lot of female characters in this game. I mean, in our party. I mean, what we have just Loka. I mean, that's that's not enough um, estrogen to, to go along in the party. I mean, what the hell? We need to get two more female party members. <laughs> oh, man. I love those little emotes that they have there. Colette's hilarious. <laughs> Looks like she's having a seizure. What's up, Colette? Oh, okay, what's your point? Yeah, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, sure. Take me there. Don't you know what people do in a hot field of flowers, Colette? Never mind. Yes, I know. They're like 12 years old. <laughs> but hey, the game wants it to, to respect their relationship, so... Okay. After playing Soul Blazer, I think you learn to accept anything a game tells you. And apparently there's a floating teddy bear in the way. Alright. Who doesn't like floating teddy bears? Maybe I can give it to wind and rain. <laughs> yep. Hookah. Whatever game, I'm, I'm just going to accept it at face value. Yeah. What the hell does that mean? Oh. Okay. No, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ashley 
you have to define what that is. It's a pronoun, and um, yeah, <laughs> you can't just name something that. <laughs> oh well, I'm sure you have. Of course, Brad just happens to know what this thing is. That's totally awesome, and not overly convenient. I'm sure. Yeah, why is this thing here? Oh, he's a guide. All right. Is he going to join our party? No, no. Pook is actually a, a tool. A very useful tool. It can let you um, get items from far away and uh, hit switches and things. It, it's pretty useful. Yeah, Tim goes over how to learn abilities. Whatever, we already know. Sorry about that, I had to sneeze there. Figured I'd spare that from for you. Alright. Yeah, you definitely want um, Tim and Loka in your party. I'm using Ashley just because Ashley's faster than Brad. Damn. And yeah, use that. You gotta hit X with um, Pooka to actually hit that switch. You need to be pressing against it with Tim. The other switch. They have to both be pressed at the same time. I wonder how we get that chest. Oh, another chest. Okay, well, I said that like a second too soon, but whatever. <laughs> um, I believe we want to go north first. I believe this is timed. Yes, it is. Alright. That one is not time. All right, we get a battle. Oh, fairy lights. Fairy lights are pathetic. Um, they are weak to darkness, which we do not have. Which is why, when you encounter them, go ahead and switch Brad in. For Tim. Um, Tim's physical attacks probably the weakest in the game. Oh, well. I think he's... Weaker than even Loka's, but I don't know. I never have her physically attack. Go ahead and cast anything you want with Loka, um, and pickpocket with Ashley because Ashley can steal big berries from these guys. You need to take them when you can get them. Did we get it? Damn. It's okay. It's no big deal. I'll get another chance next turn. I'm gonna have, um... Yeah, they have some weird attacks. I don't know why gravity attack in this game doesn't do gravity-based damage, but whatever. Probably a mistranslation. I'm gonna have Loka guard here so that Ashley can get a chance to pickpocket. Oh, we got it. Big berry. Alright. Yeah, stealing in this game is pretty good. Um, Wild Arms 3, it's, it's been nerfed. I mean, it's it's really bad in Wild Arms 3, and that's a shame because there's a lot of good stuff to steal, but it's just too low of, of a percentage. Yeah, whatever. And unfortunately, we're gonna have to deal with it. Um, Heart Leaf protects against Downhearted, which could be useful, but to be honest, I don't remember too many enemies actually causing Downhearted, so I wouldn't worry about it. So instead, let's uh, go a little bit further. This one, you don't need Puka. Just hit it with Tem. And walk forward. Alright. Let's go right over here. Alright, we get a crest. Better not contain another crest. Damn it, game! No, no, crests are awesome. <laughs> Let's just keep moving. Alright, new enemies. These are... Squirms. Now we will see the power that is Tim. They are weak to wind, so go ahead and... Anything we want to steal from these guys? Well, they have heal berries to steal, so I might as well. Dig out lets you get random items. I never really liked it. 
but you can get some useful stuff. I'll use it occasionally. What are these guys weak to? Win. So let's do that. Go ahead and pickpocket. And vortex. All right. 1716. That's pretty good there. Yeah, weaknesses in Wild Arms games are always amazing. You do a lot of more damage. That's why magic in Wild Arms games are generally tend to be better than physical attacks. Generally. All right, we got a revive fruit. I don't know if I actually stole anything there. I, I don't even know if Ashley got his turn before Tim. Ah, oh, whatever. Those guys do drop revive fruits, which is nice. This puzzle. Well, we'll uh, continue this next time because I am out of time, so I hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, next time we'll finish this place. Have a great day!